Why is there no more Dragon Ball content on the channel, and what is the future of it? Well, first of all, there may not be a future. I may not upload anything but Xenoverse 2 content. I'll upload that. But besides that, that may be it. Probably. Be it. But Dragon Ball YouTube community is absolute shit, alright? Let me explain a couple things to you. The fact that you, that we talk about spoilers openly on Twitter every day for weeks is bullshit. The fact that you're on YouTuber, big one, making videos on spoilers weeks before it happened is bullshit. Because guess what? That only happened in the Dragon Ball community. And guess what? They don't need to do that. It's because they want to, but it's not because they want to cover it. It's because they get money. There is no reason for them to want to read spoilers. The only reason they would read those, as often as they do, is if they want to make money off of their videos. And you know what? I'm sorry. I don't think you understand something. We read people, they, they, they then say they don't watch it. Okay, there's something called curiosity. It's very powerful. Sometimes the curiosity, most of the time, will overpower you, and you'll end up looking at it and getting spoiled. It's one thing to resist curiosity for like a day, but when you're coming out like two, three weeks before it happened, and giving people the chance to know what's going to happen, they're going to end up breaking and reading the spoilers. I'm sorry. And if it was common, and it was just the way it was, it would be fine, but it's not. I know what it's like to walk into a series every week blind. I do it with every other anime and manga I follow. And guess what? I enjoy every single one of them more than I enjoy Dragon Ball Super. Because I know what's going to happen. If I had not known about the Black and the Matsu thing, the last episode would have been a 10 out of 10. It would have been so good. But it wasn't. Because I knew about it, so then I couldn't jump, so I couldn't gain, so I gain the episode off of everything else. Like, the shock value didn't matter. I couldn't gauge it based off the shock value or react or hype or anything. I couldn't even, I couldn't get hyped up for it. I wasn't hyped for it. There was nothing to be hyped about. I'm sorry. And if I hadn't known about that, if I was going in completely blind besides the preview, I would have been a lot more excited. It's different, and also, and you compared it to anime and manga, it's different. When you know what's going to happen because you read the manga, you still got that what the fuck just happened reaction when reading the manga, and then the anime is just a bonus. I'm sorry, but it's bullshit that the Dragon Ball community ru will ruin a theory for you. And don't say to avoid spoilers. If you're a YouTuber like me, you can't avoid spoilers. You can try, but it's a lot of fucking work. And you know, I'm not going to put in that much work to avoid spoilers, because I don't need to. And then when Bleak came out, Spoiler came out, Tekken 101 had a great, a great quote that he said. I know the spoilers are out, I'm not going to read them, and I'm definitely not going to do a video on them, because I don't want to spoil anybody. Greatest! Oh my god, you, you want your fan to actually get, have a surprise when watching something? Wow, that's the opposite of a Dragon Ball fandom. They're going to make a video so they can title it like Goku Black or Identity Revealed and get a shit ton of views on it. They and make a ton of money. They'd rather do that than they would let their fan be surprised. I'm sorry, it's not the way it works. I had never once been spoiled for a Naruto chapter, a One Piece chapter, a Bleach chapter, and this was when it was coming out like years ago. In my whole time reading all these other theories, I had never one time been spoiled by a YouTuber prior to the release of the chapter on Manga Dream. Now, I have been spoiled because of my own stupidity going on YouTube after the chapter released and looking at reviews, but that's my own damn fault. I should not have done that. But I never once been spoiled like two or I never once been spoiled the four but the day the four but chapter came out about the chapter. That had never happened to me one time. Any other theory? It has happened to me in every single arc for every single major event in Dragon Ball Super. Every single major event has been spoiled for me. Every single fucking one of them. Honestly, my passion for making Dragon Ball content is gone. I think it's boring. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's kind of boring to talk about because the series is such shit. I'm going to be honest. I, if you guys, you know what? I'm going to do a Dragon Ball Super anime review. Reviewing it as a standalone 2015 anime. Or something like that. But honestly, I don't even know if I want to watch it weekly anymore. I'll be honest, I had not watched the past like five episodes with subtitles. I hadn't. 
I watched them live in the Dragon Squad, and honestly, I'll be honest, talking to my people in the squad is actually more enjoyable than the episode. The episode normally is like, you know, if I were to watch it live by myself, I would fall asleep. And when I watch them um, live, like in sub, I fall asleep. They're boring, I don't enjoy it anymore. I just, and just, it's just that, and there was a bad, and there was a bad theory. Well, that's why they don't say about fairy tales. It's, a, it's not the greatest theory. It's oh, it's just slightly better than Dragon Ball Super. That's right, I said it. No, but guess what? It had a good, legitimately good fan base. Its fan base isn't the greatest, but it has a nice fan base that is nice to talk to, and it just I can I can withstand it. But, but I, I hate the fan base. I hate the entire fan base. I don't even like the, I don't even like the way the Smurf fans act anymore. I used to like them. I, I can't take it anymore. I don't like the Smurf fans. I don't, I don't like the stupid fans. And I... I don't like any of them. I like them as people, but the way, the way the content is produced, the way the channels are handled, the way they, they act on YouTube, I, I... No, I'm sorry. It's not a community. It's not a part. It's not a community I want to be a part of. So, yeah. I'll still talk to other people on Discord and Skype. So anybody I'm on, like, friend with that's a Dragon Ball YouTuber, and any other Dragon Ball YouTuber that wants to do video with me, hit me up. Sure, go ahead. I don't care. But this is just me pretty much saying, my standalone, you will not be seeing many, if any, standalone Dragon Ball video from me. From me. Maybe every once in a while you will be. The last thing you will be getting is a full a video where I go over all the problems I have with Dragon Ball Super in a much calmer manner and honestly explain why I think the series is garbage. And I'm just, I'm burnt out. The community, I don't like the, as I stated, I don't like the community. I think the show is pretty much shit. I'm literally only watching it because it's Dragon Ball and I can't watch it weekly anymore. I cannot guarantee I'm going to review it. I'm not going to make any more promises I can't keep. Because there was like a period where I was like, I'm going to start reviewing Super again. Because I was like, it was looking promising. It was one good episode. And then, and then I started hating it again. I liked one episode and then I started going, Damn it, Super, you fucked up again. And I just realized, I cannot talk about this show consistently. It's a terrible fan base. And I don't like it. I'm sorry. So yeah, Dragon Ball content is really going to be whenever. And there's not going to be any consistency to it. It will be random. And most of the time, it will be with somebody else. I am fine with recording Dragon Ball content. I know I'm an intelligent Dragon Ball fan, and I know I can do it. And I'm oh, and I would love to collaborate with other YouTubers on their channel, and maybe upload other Dragon Ball content on here. But it just the consistent Dragon Ball content. Like I can no longer do every Wednesday will be a Dragon Ball video. But honestly, I don't have a passion to sit down and record video for it. Even last year. Last year, when I was doing it consistently before the summer happened and I got thrown off of my schedule, I still remember there were a lot of weeks where I was like, do I have to do this? This is such a chore. I don't want to make this. Like, it becomes a chore. And no, Dragon Ball content is, is a chore to me. And I'm not going to ruin my experience on YouTube with it. So yeah, no more consistent Dragon Ball content. You'll see it every once in a while, mostly collabs and... The no work gameplay, but yeah, I'm sorry. I just peace out, guys. Have a great day. If you were here for the Dragon Ball content, I hope you stick around. But it will still be to here sometime. But you do decide to unsubscribe because there's not going to be a lot of it. Um, thank you for watching the videos up to this point. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't. You can just see how angry I was in this video. I can no longer do this. I'm really sorry if you're a fan of my content for Dragon Ball, but I can't.